Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Zabe Cast, brought to you by Line and Kugels. Zabe, Scotty, Al, Lodef, we're all here. Look at this. Ronan Tynan, the famed Irish tenor who had been doing the Yankees' seventh-inning stretch of God Bless America, has been sacked. Anti-Semitic remarks. Really? It's not right. Dagger. What did he say? Well, here's how it went down. Tynan... Uh, met a apartment uh, hunter in his building on Manhattan's buyer, yes. Tony East side with uh, said real estate agent. And the agent says to Ronan Tynan, don't worry, they're not Red Sox fans. Knowing that Mr. Tynan is a famous Yankee fan and a singer. Right. That's when Ronan Tynan said in front of the house hunter and the apartment uh, or the uh, real estate agent, I don't care about us that but I don't care about that as long as they're not Jewish. Oh my god. <laughs> Good god. I'm stuck with the Red Sox fan. The, it was funnier. The potential buyer who was standing right there at the time is a Jewish pediatrician from NYU Medical boom, Center. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. No. Is it possible he knew that and was saying it as a joke? Why, why is why that? Galdi? Because they look Jewish? Because no, they're I mean, doctors, they Galdi? Maybe they knew the guy's right. background. It was a doctor. Maybe they had dark hair. I don't is that know what you're what, doing I here? don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> why is that? Asked, a, asked the flabbergasted apartment seeker. Tynan said that Jewish ladies had been looking at the apartment before and that they were, quote, scary. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. And now you know. The singer now says the remarks were made in jest. The doctor said... I don't think so. Quote, I didn't know him at all, so how could I take it as a joke? Yeah. Tynan claims now for on his part that it was just a big misunderstanding. Right. Well, first it was a joke, then it was a misunderstanding. Just like they said in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Exactly. It could be mine, dude. Is he going to shit or is he going to kill us? <laughs> Make up your mind, dude. How does a guy uncork something like that? I mean, what are you, a total idiot? Nuclear Loose once hit a uh, mascot. On the side of the mound. I, you know, now, let me you, ask. You can uncork a. Uh... Let me ask you two Jews here, if I can, <laughs> on behalf of Galdi. Thanks for the label. Goys versus Jews. There here. you go. That's it. Uh, are Jewish ladies scary? Old ladies? Are they all, scary? I think all, all old ladies all women, are scary. All women are scary. Same. But all an women... old Jewish woman. What what are we looking at here in terms of? Galdi has Italian grandmothers. They're scary too. Come on. All women are scary. Older women beat you with their wood-shaped purse. What's the worst thing an old Jewish woman could do? Nag you to eat more? Here we go. That's that's somehow, quote, scary? How is that going to affect Ronan Tynan? Look how thin you're getting. Yeah. (laughs) Look at you. How come you're not married? How How come you're not married, Sally? (laughs) Huh? Where are my grandkids? Huh? How many times do you hear that when you get together with your folks? No grandkids yet? Do you think Ronan Tynan was worried that these old ladies were going to hector him into getting married? He must have been. Doing something, eating more. Is he a fat guy? I don't know. I mean, he's a little, uh, a little portly. He's a large guy. Okay, you'd think in New York. I mean, that's not. It is a melting pot. There's a lot of Jewish people. The your potential most hit amount of Jews in yeah. any city okay. in the you're, world. Right. Yeah, you're a famous Short rich Jerusalem. tenor. You've got a really good apartment. Yeah. Someone is going to look to buy it. What are yeah. the chances that the prospective buyer is Jewish? Right. Fifty-fifty. Oh. Yeah. At minimum. More Hello. What are you doing? He made a, a crack about Arabs in Beirut Jesus. too, which was weird. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not a. Come on, Galdi, stick up for me. No, it's, it's, it's not a stereotype. It's well, a look, percentage, look at Scott. the uh, the Yom Kippur situation this year with the Giants and Jets moving, having both games played the, at the same and time. And the Red Sox Yankee game exactly. that was the Sunday night game. Solly's people had it moved up from <laughs> seven to one o'clock. <laughs> and please, no Jewish jokes. Even if your Watley was converted just for the jokes, shalom as an anti-dentite. Shalom indeed.